I'd like to take a look at two more subtracting decimal problems. Um, just because, uh, you know, we have this idea of subtracting sign numbers uh, being a little bit tricky um, all the way back from chapter 2, and it continued to come up in chapter 3 when we worked with fractions, and it'll continue to come up here in chapter 4. So let's just take a look at that in, in these two examples. So um, I want to take negative 3.0562 minus negative 29.094. All right, so remember the strategy here is if I see a minus sign, and it's not just the simple situation of a big positive number minus a smaller positive positive number, then I probably want to be turning subtraction into adding the opposite. So um, my favorite little rule for doing that is to cross the line and change the sign. So this problem ends up being negative 3.0562 plus 29.0 and so I am adding now two numbers with different signs, but that means I need to subtract their absolute values. So we have 29.094, and then we have to line up our decimal points and place values. And remember that when we're subtracting, if I have a blank spot above a digit in the bottom number, I better put a zero there as a placeholder. So of course I can't take two away from zero, so I need to do some borrowing. So I'll make this zero into a 10 because I'm gonna borrow one from the next place over. So 10 minus two is eight, but of course three uh, I can't take 6 away from that, so I'm going to have to do more borrowing. So 3 is going to have to become 13 as I borrow 1 from the 9. So 13 minus 6 is going to give me 7. 8 minus 5 will give me 3. 0 minus 0 gives me 0. Drop that decimal point straight down. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 2 minus 0 is 2. And then we have to decide, is this positive or negative? Well, because the negative's on the smaller absolute value and positive's on the larger absolute value, positive wins. So the answer is 26.0378. Or to say it properly, 26 and 378 ten thousandths. All right, so now let's take a look at this one. Um, again, we have a negative minus a positive. So let's go ahead and do our trick of cross the line, change the sign. But let's clean it up first before doing anything else. This is negative 15.509 plus negative 0 0.2507. And so since the signs are the same, we know we're adding these. So 15.509 plus, again, we're going to line up the decimal points, 0 0.2507. So if you want to, you can put a 0 up here. Since we're not subtracting, it's not necessary um, because it's just going to be 0 plus 7 equals 7. 9 plus 0 is 9. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. Drop the decimal point straight down. 5 plus 0 is 5, 1 plus 0 is 1. But of course, because both of these numbers were negatives that I was adding together, I know the answer is negative 15.7597.